it's bathroom time. I gotta pee. And you're in luck. I happen to be a bathroom hunty. You ready to piss in my toilet? It's custom design. She shitted in the mother toilet on this day. And I'm gonna wipe my face on this t-shirt. This week on Drag Race, the queens had to make t-shirt art with their face and cosmetics and then design a unique bathroom experience to wow the judges! Plus, it's giving chains on the runway, chains on the runway. Are you ready for some fart jokes and Michelle Visage's distant German accent? You know I am. Ooh, all new Race Chaser starts now. Body yaddy 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 Body crazy curvy waist big titties little waist. Oh. M. Mom! Race Chaser. Hello, uh, and welcome back to Race, Race Chaser, Chaser Au Courant, a podcast dedicated to the discussion, dissection, the dissemination of every single episode of RuPaul's, RuPaul's Drag, Drag Race, Race, starting from the very beginning. This is the beginning. My name's Alaska. What's yours? Hello, my name is Willem. I thought you were Morphine Love Dion. Well, I'm... I- I'm waiting for my third mother to confirm that I am a Dion. The BBL. I have to talk to Athena Dion though because she's the mother of all the Dion. You better check. You have to clear it with Athena. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we can talk to her maybe. Um, this is a video episode in case you um haven't noticed. Oh, hello, cameras! I didn't even uh, see those. Lights, camera, action, and me lights without a wear. stitch of makeup. Ooh. She brought her own under lighting, under yellow lighting. <laughs> she brought her own. I want sallow. <laughs> if you can't see this, you can get video episodes at mompodcast.plus right now. I know you're listening, but wouldn't you like to take a peek? Take a peek. <laughs> do you know? Do you see what the reference I'm giving? Yeah, Sith Lord. <laughs> do you know the reference I'm giving? Is it uh, Kermit? No. Uh, wait, wait, workroom? Work room? No. Uh, um, RuPaul recently did this podcast appearance. Oh, yeah. Oh, Call Me Daddy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't have, like, a knit cap, but I have this, like, thermal weather thing that yeah. you can, like, tighten around your face. hmm Which is very nice when it's cold outside. Or, yeah. Where we go? Uh, um, did you happen to see last week on RuPaul's Drag Race? Flexi- now I see why she dressed like this. I feel so comfortable. Uh, I feel so good. Yeah, you look comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> cozy drag. Baby. I'm Cozy the, corner. You're cozy drag. I'm Colby drag, honey. Honey, you are good. Remember who wore these? Our winner last season. Oh, did she? Miss Sasha Colby. This was her interview look. She wore mm. go- the gold gloves and everything, which I thought was smart because it's a way to have a nail without putting on a nail. Well, honey, I don't blame anyone for that. Not at Certainly. all. You know who I blame for last week? RuPaul. She had a whole show, and the queens <laughs> used their funky voices and their funky power to tell people to vote. Yeah. Yeah, and stand up for their funky rights. The queens. Wait. Is that last week? That's uh, last week of the Isn't last week. Size? Why when is no suit? one ready? <laughs> Trying to thwart. <laughs> thwart the beauty. Thwart the beauty. Thwarted beauty. Thwarted is what beauty. You're giving. Here she's thwart. giving thwarted, thwarted beauty. beauty. Here she's giving. Um, <laughs> Kirkland's <laughs> drag. <laughs> oh, that's Kirkland. Hey, we should Greek this. <laughs> <laughs> Greek it. Greek it. Get some tzatziki. Last week, RuPaul got the queens to get corporate for a presentation about drag for drag queen aware with... uh, uh, You know about drag queens? Get aware. She split them into teams and they had to present topics and drags with a PowerPoint presentation. In a live studio audience, they kept it funny, kept it draggy, also set the whole thing in the workplace. And on the runway, it was flashback to DragCon 1980, which Maya just Googled for her inspiration. Safira won the challenge, but there was some debate on who else should have won. Some girls were plucked. Maya and Morphine were in the bottom, and they put on a fucking show. It was Maya's last hurrah, and the queen of flips flippity-dipped back to Miami. (laughs) 
Which brings us to episode 12 of season 16, Bathroom Hunties. <laughs> I really don't like the title of that episode. That is so weird. Bathroom Hunties is the, is the weirdest co- confluence of words that I... Mm. The misfires in my brain. Misfire. Um, Lipstick oh. message from Maya says, It was fun. I love you all. Season 16, exclamation point. Morphine, bring it home. Number 305. Hashtag, queen of flips. Hashtag 305. Queen of That's the area code in Miami. Hashtag oh. queen of flips with two S's. Uh-huh. Hashtag Maya. Uh-huh. Now, this feels like it was written by AI. Chat GPS. <laughs> GPS. Well, that's how she Googled DragCon 1980. She put it in chat. You know what? She, these queens using all their resources. Tippity tapping. <laughs> Tippity tappity toot ta. They really did. Uh, Morphine says that the Miami girls fight till there's blood. Yeah. She threw her ugly ass dress on me, so I threw my tit at her, which for me would hold up in court. Your Honor, <laughs> she threw her ugly ass dress at me. So I threw my tit at her. Iconic justice. Iconic justice now on Out TV. Mm. Safira is celebrating her third win. Uh, Q is mad. She stays mad. Mm -hmm. She says, well, it should have been me in plain. Uh, Plucked. And she says, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not saying nothing. Because she was too boiling. Dude, real quick, I think we passed it, but Morphine Love Dion was crunching off her nails before the title sequence, and there was a point where she definitely gave me Danny DeVito Penguin. Who? Peng- Peng- Morphine? Uh, Morphine. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> like she was eating fish heads. There is and like, like a horrible. It's a horrible shot. Sound. Yeah, too. Of, of crushing your acrylic nail with your teeth. Girl. It sounded like it hurt. It wasn't a flattering shot, and I was like, they did her wrong, baby. Yeah, that. <laughs> I don't think she's giving DeVito. It's not to be no. <laughs> the sound is rough. Yeah, the, the sound, sound is rough. The sound rough. is bad. Um, the girls in the workroom, the next morning they come in, and I meant to do a deep dive on this because this week they have <laughs> new week in the workroom, blah, blah, blah. Go is done by dawn. Yeah. Which the week before, it was the go home bitch also. And the week before that, I feel like it was the go home bitch too. So I is feel like they the, have- the spoiler in the system? I feel like it might be. So I'm going to go back and do some homework Someone on my own time. It's research. not company time. Uh, my hours end at 5 o'clock. So if you ask me to stay until 5.02, I won't be available. But I'll be happy to follow up on that at 9 a.m. Um, Maya Iman, Diamond Queen of Flips. <laughs> Hashtag queen of flips with two S's. My Iman Diamond hours start at 9 p.m. The 9 p.m.? 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. Uh, night of work when the to night. <laughs> Oop. Oh my God. Uh, what was that? Oh, you're rich. Hazards in the workplace. <laughs> no, I can get it. I can fetch it. Sure? See how tight she is. <laughs> Do you know that joke? Uh uh-uh. uh. You must know the joke. I know. Um, uh, this guy is like in bed with this other person. Uh-huh. He's like, put a finger in me. And he's like, okay, now put two fingers. In. Okay, all right. Okay, now put your whole hand in. Me. Oh my god! Wow. Now put both hands in. Oh my god! Now clap. And the guy goes, I can't. He says, See how tight I am. <laughs> Buggered, honey. Buggered, <laughs> smuggered, beauty. Low, low, low sugar. We get saved by the Rubel. Q is backpedaling. Girl, Q not winning for me and her reaction to it is the exact opposite of someone um, with an abundance of class like Roxy Andrews. When she lost, she knew they were trying to get her because she should have won at least one or two of those that she kept being in the bottom six times in the row. In the I'm bottom. saying Q doesn't have class? No, I'm saying she's showing um, a lack of, I'd say, sense you're on TV. Just like, stop being a bitch. You lost. Well, just be TV. nice. Be a bitch. Mm. It's fun to watch. It is fun to watch, but it's damaging because it makes people think, oh, do I want to hang out with her? Do I want her at my club? You know, being a bitch can be good at sometimes, but like other times it can like inhibit like your bookings. 
I'm literally thinking about the future for these girls. Like, don't be a cunt and do stuff on TV that will make people think, you don't seem that fun. Especially if you can't dance. Because if you can dance, all bets are off, bitch. I'll go crazy when you hit the floor, even if I hate you. But if you're just going to walk and wear pretty costumes and be a bitch. Uh, yeah, I would never be a crazy cunt on TV. Me that, neither. I, I would, that's just not something that I would do because I have class. I say it. I, I have class I once a day on Duolingo. Honey, being a cunt on TV has got us a podcasting network. So I say go for it. I say be experience your feelings. Lean in. If you feel upset, be upset. That's television. That's I, what you're there to do. Do I look upset to you? Uh, no. <laughs> you need to put some more yellow in that light. <laughs> Listen, speaking of yellow, Sallow Nymphia. Beauty. Nymphia. Here she's giving sallow, sallow beauty. beauty. <laughs> um, <laughs> Nymphia is given a question by obviously a producer to ask. It's like one of those, I didn't write it down, but it's one of those. Who do you think blah, 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 blah? It's like, girl. Who do you think should be here that isn't here? That old question. Who would you trade out? Yeah. Is there anybody that you thought would be here that isn't here anymore? Well, I thought, I still think it's a shame that uh, Mirage isn't mm. there. Mm. I think she needed a little more time in the oven to cook and, you know, firm mm. up. But yeah. I think that she was really cool. And she will be back. It hurts my heart that she's not here also. Yeah. Yeah. And I love I really like Tsunami because she always looked like a fucking Oh yeah. Hot piece of ass. Yeah. Gorgeous. So ladies, who at this table do you think is the least trustworthy? <laughs> That's very housewives. <laughs> they like to play a game on housewives, and whenever they play a game, it's about to turn into a fight. It's very that. Do you want to play a game? No. Oh. I don't. Okay. I'm done being a cunt on TV. Like plain. I've retired that. Plain's done being a cunt too. She's crying. She's giving like backstory. Mama, we'll get to it. She never loved herself. RuPaul says uh, a video message that says, Ladykins, nature calling. Now every queen needs her throne, especially if she plans on wiping away their competition. Oh, God. Oh, and <laughs> don't forget tough. to flush. <laughs> Shh. RuPaul comes in the workroom. I wonder what it could be about. Toilet here. Shitting on these hoes. I be shitting on these hoes. Um, Ru is asking the girls to design their own custom t-shirt using only their face in honor of the iconic Tammy Faye uh, Mesner t-shirt design from the 80s. Sure. And I also saw Tammy Brown do this. I saw Sharon Needles do it. Mm -hmm. I had a couple shirts like this. Um, so the girls are slapping on a bunch of Anastasia. And Norvina is there looking like... Um, uh, Lord of the Rings. Norvina gets more and more in drag every time she's on this show, and I love that about her. Not mad about she it. She says, and she says, writers, give me some punchlines. <laughs> I'm going to give them. Her punchlines were funny. Yeah, it wasn't bad. She was she was a great guest, I'd say. Uh, she's gorgeous, isn't she? It was funny because they said, now most of you wonder what a year's supply of Anastasia Beverly Hills looks like. That. The writers were working overtime. They really were. Um, are you a fan of expressionist painters? Um, uh, yeah, sure. Does Monet exchange count? Sure. <laughs> um, the pit crew? They were hunting for that one. We got some notifications on Twitter, like, please help us. Who is this pit crew man? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they liked him. He's got OnlyFans, apparently. So did they find... Oh, really? Mm-hmm. That's what someone said. Well, go off. Mm-hmm. Get off. Uh, yes, the pit crew are in full force here today. Which um, pit crew would you have gone up to? Or were they assigned? I, um, I mm. think they were assigned. Mm. I'd put a sign on me, too, that says, line up. I think Bryce looks so cute, and I know he's straight, but, like, who's really straight anymore? Mm -hmm. I think he looks so cute. We have Jesse. We have Bruno. We have Jesse, Bryce. Jesse, Tyler, Ferguson. <laughs> Kelix. <laughs> Kelix mattresses. I sleep well on a Kelix mattress. Now, do you think they really only use their face for this? Yes, I do, but I think all of their technique was poor. I think they should have put their hands up the shirt of the guy. Do you think they were allowed to do that? Yeah, when uh, somebody should have, and then done face. 
like and massaged it in to do really face. do face. I do face. You do do face. I do do face. You do do face. You do do face. <laughs> you, you do do do, 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 do clown mass. Uh, so plain Jane. Oh, the the pit crew's member is Joseph Biggs. B I G Z. Oh, B I G Z. Mm, if you want to look him up, he's uh, fresh fish. Now, uh, also Kelix is the Calix. I thought it was Kelix. I thought it was Calix. So, Kelix? I'll lick it whatever it is. Um, uh, Calix is so cute too. Um, uh, mm. The technique Bruno. here is to put on, and I think Plain Jane did it really well, you put on way more makeup than you think you should because Tea. it has to transfer over. Mm -hmm. So it's really like stacking it on so that it will get onto the shirt. And then once you have the shirt, don't smear too much no, no. because it'll become like Nymphaya's and it'll become sort of just a fucking amalgamous. It'll become surrealist instead of like a stamp. Has Bryce done a round of steroids or something? I don't know. He's been bulking. Mm. Well, we gotta catch up with Bruno, baby. Um, if you smear it too much, it be If you smear it too much, the trade leaves. Doo doo clown mess. Doo doo clown mess. This where is the, no glamour, all concept. Mama, what is this? I just saw a messy man. I really did. So plain Jane wins five thousand dollars, and they're told that they'll be starring in a new hot design show called Bathroom Hunties. Yeah. Working in pairs, the queen needs to customize a bathroom for a wealthy couple opening a nightclub who like to improv. The oh, powder room okay. must we'll have... We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Okay, we'll girl. To it. The powder room must have unique and unexpected designed ideas and be fully gender inclusive and then repair, repair, repair Paul's up the girls. We're going to take a break. Wait. We're going to take a bathroom break and we'll be right back. Okay. I what? said that wrong. What? I said <laughs> RuPair pulls up the girls. <laughs> RuPair, RuPair, RuPaul pairs up the girls. RuPair pulls up the girls and. Pauls! <laughs> <laughs> and we're back from the bathroom, Hunty. So bathroom he, hunties. Mm -hmm. The RuPaul pairs the girls because she's like, "Fuck y'all hoes! I want the most drama." Yeah. So she has Plain Jane and Safira, mm -hmm. Nymphie and Dawn, and Q and Morphine. Morphine um, starts off by thinking that Miss Q is going to blow up at any moment, and um, Q says she has phones off, please, on the set. Phones off. I don't know whose it was, but I don't want to hear it again. Q says she has the mentality to move on and prove the judges wrong. Bathroom, hunty. <laughs> oh. You know, just because my name is Alaska Thunderfuck, I think people think that I often resort to uh, toilet humor, however I don't. You can do bidet jokes too. I do. I do. <laughs> Not so that you remember, but bidet jokes are great. Bidet old Danish. What would you have done? I'm always curious because you have such a twisted mind. What would you have done for bathroom, Auntie? I feel like I would have done something Neapolitan, like pink. <laughs> What? Chocolate? Amazing. No, like the ice cream because pink. Chocolate, chocolate, lemonade. Wait, what is that? Pink, brown, and then like uh, a neutral. Because there's, in the bathroom, that's where you like bend over and like make sure that everything's still pink. That's supposed to be pink. And then you make sure all the brown stuff's gone. And then the white stuff in the middle is like the stuff you pick off the mirror after you pop stuff. Or like cum, debris. Roxanne discharge, debris? Discharge. Roxanne debris. A court, um, Neapolitan. That's so yeah. I think sick. I think pink, brown, and a crew. A crew. Tahitian uh, vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> what would you have done? I uh, I don't know what it would look like, but I know that I know what my gimmick for the stall would be. What upper deckers? I hate when you can like hear uh, so sounds in a bathroom, like. 
at your studio, you have a really loud fan. Yeah. That's wonderful. So I would have done something with like a very, like we sing a song and make loud noises while you're in there. We're like, no pooping going on. <laughs> very like distracting. A total prolapse of the fart. <laughs> yeah. And then like um, throwing rose petals and Ooh. you know, something to like scent. No, those will clog your pipes though. Just to let you know. What by? Oh, you know, flushing flowers, flower really? flushing. Yeah, you shouldn't. Have flush. you done that before? No, no, I <laughs> that a thing. Everybody Wait, knows. Shake that. It Everybody so knows. Good. Ooh, ooh, you that hear that? That sounds rich. Girl, it is. It is. It's not one of those cheap little flimsy bullshit ones. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's not a. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you shouldn't be a cunt on TV, Willem. Oops. <laughs> Only on YouTube. I'm so good at it. Um, morphine suggests a heaven and hell concept where that they make dungeony with spikes on the toilet. Listen, these spikes look like the the horns that Manila wrapped her hair around paper, in season three. Paper mache these, ass, fucking flimsy put on with tape. Like what? These look bad. They look a doo-doo clown mess. All concept. They did them dirty. They did. And but I will tell you this. They show the girls painting at the 23 mark and then after that nothing so you know that production just came in and did it after they gave them notes like drag me to dinner we did everything Ooh. i slaved in that kitchen well we slayed in the kitchen uh no i think they definitely had some help i mean some and how did they produce like an entire like period like Downton Abbey like set for you know the winning team? Yeah. Yet they couldn't tape on these spikes onto the toilet seat. Flimsy. They said y'all aren't winners, so we're going. Flimsy low hand. Yeah, yeah. I I just um, I would have liked to see the girls designing stuff. I mean, they are ripping off. Um. What am I gonna say? Sorry, cut this, all this dead air. What was the show I'm thinking of? Keep the dead air. Oh. I want them to know. <laughs> They're ripping off. Uh, <laughs> what? They're ripping off a TV show? Yeah. House oh, that Hunters? That old design show. House oh. Hunters. Yes. And and this was a design star challenge, too, that they would do on HGTV. But yes, they are ripping off House Hunters when they play it at the end. Because I was like, oh, this feels familiar. I was on the highest rated episode of this show. Period. Period. Yeah. Um, period. Dawn tells Nymphia, you're not doing yellow in here, bitch. And she's like, every decision is like farting, museum of farts, museum of natural fart. Yeah. All that. Which is like, okay. I mean, it's a good concept. I like the idea of them doing it like a museum. The color that they do end up choosing is... Sallow. Diaper surprise, mm -hmm. which I who says that? Q. Uh wait, no, someone calls it diaper surprise, and it's so accurate because it is, it's like sort of baby shit. Yeah. That like which I guess works for this. But you still want it to be like aesthetically pleasing. You still want the toilet to be functional. That's why the spikes on the toilet like wasn't it for me. It's like that's a that's a gimmick with no payoff because they can't even use the thing. Yeah, because if they even put their ass near it, it it'll collapse. They should have made it heated. Like hell is hot, so like a heated toilet seat. Hell is for that. children. Hell is for children. <laughs> uh, Plain Jane expresses that she is nervous that Safira's old soul would ruin her design direction, and Safira suggests a speakeasy concept. And Plain is like with it, but then you see her start to like recede a little bit because she's afraid that Safira is gonna like star and be the shining uh, moment of the whole skit scat. Such depth from Plain Jane. Honestly. So many layers. She's like, on episode nine, I'll peel back like an onion. Ooh, I'll cry. And then I'll act like, I don't know if I'm gonna do good. She's playing these producers like a harp from hell. Honey. She knows the girl. And then she's like, oh, I, trying to sing. She's not hitting the notes well, but she's hitting them. Yeah. I was like, you're not terrible. She's a good mimic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Did you think that this paint fight was real? I'm glad they did this. Why? 
because this section of the show is not for designing the room. That happens off screen. This is for drama, for excitement, for fun. Yeah. So I'm glad that they were like, let's chase each other around with fucking paint rollers. That's what they're there for. What are we going to do? do Watch paint dry? I mean, literally. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the The Morphine Love Dion mirror chat the next day, she reveals that she poops five times a day. Well, the BBL. Oh, she's got in there. <laughs> T. Huh. That makes sense. Um, she also talks about dropping into a jump split and shitting her kitty. Almost. She said the she fart. She thought maybe something happened. Mm. I get it. Never happened Whenever to I jump into a jump split, uh, you know, it's always, you have to be sure, you know. You really do. Yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. Uh, Morphine also talks about uh, t- uh, prejudiced bathroom behaviors, being escorted out of the women's room in a straight bar with her girlfriend. I just don't get it. Yeah, and like, it's like such a big deal about like gender, but girl, girl, bye. What do no. you think is a bigger deal? The bathroom thing or Q still not being over, not winning last Is she week? still not yeah, over? Yeah, because she talks to Safira about it. And Safira and her are talking. And Fuck. like Safira's like, I don't like that word, undeserved. And she's she, like, I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to invalidate you, but I still should have won and you shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah. That I, was the apology. <laughs> it I, was an apology. It was a non-apology. They were just talking. I just don't see how this is helping her. Like, it's good to feel and stuff, but, like, you don't need to be your authentic self all the time unless it's actual good TV and will help you. Brought to you by Kirkland's. The finest sparkling water from Kirkland Springs. Mm, Do you know how... bubbling. You know how to make a waterbed more bouncy? How? Spring water. Safira says something very smart. She says, one word, which is also a Kelly Osbourne song. One word could be the one difference. One word tells a thousand stories. I love that song. It's a cover. Is it? Yeah. Of what? It's a cover of Flock of Seagulls. Oh. I think. Maybe oh, yeah. I've made this up. It could be. I see that for her. Anyway, Safira says, one word can be the difference between getting your point across and hurting someone's feelings. Yes. Uh, and then Plain and Sapphira have a breakthrough, a therapy session, a, f- a, a tool for erasing any doubts that you have about yourself. Write them down on a piece of paper. Uh, read them out loud. Mm-hmm. Tear it up and throw it over your shoulder. RuPaul loves this kind of stuff. And this is uh, <laughs> this practice on the same cycle may have been prophesied by um, a poet laureate, Sweet Pussy Pauline, when really? she, when she said famously, "Tear it up, up like, like newspaper because it, it wasn't, wasn't built, built right. right. No, no how. way. No how. Oh, maybe no how. No way. Ain't no how. No, no way. How, ain't no way. Ain't no how. What are you? What song was that? That was "Ain't No Way," but Aretha's sister hits that really, really high note. Oh, okay, word. Ain't no way, ain't no way. Um, okay, what do we write down? Your fears and insecurities. Fears and insecurities. Um. Thank you. Okay. Uh uh, you have to read it aloud. Yeah, read it out loud. <laughs> That's what Sapphira made her do. Okay. That's why they're up for the vulnerability Emmy. Okay. Go ahead. Now, this is going to make me sound bad, but I want to say it's my fears and insecurities are only com- when combined with each other make me scared, but. I've been each of these things singularly, but never together. Okay. Which is being ugly and poor. Mm. One is fine, but pick a struggle, you know? 
Okay. Can't do both at the same time. Now tear it up like newspaper. Because it wasn't built right, no how. <laughs> you didn't throw it over your shoulder. Oh. You still have those insecurities because it didn't go over your shoulder. And I wrote, I am very sorry that I invalidated your feelings, but I still should have won the challenge. You know what? <laughs> Kudos, mama, for, for spelling. Kudos. And just like that, bathroom hunty. Yes. Um, Safir. Let's take a break. Yeah, let's honestly. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>